Hello everybody, this is Nick the Creep, and we are back. Oh, uh, let's try and navigate. On the going ham server, we've been going ham! Oh my gosh. Oh, you can see my melon back there behind me. Uh, so, we've been doing some stuff around and about. Okay, where's our path? Yeah, so right now I'm working on the sugarcane farm. Uh, went ahead and started it without you. I know you're probably all sad now, but uh, yeah, I did it. But we're going to finish it up together. We're going to go work on it some, and we're going to see if we can get it up and moving. Um, we really wanted it for the paper, so we could trade with the villagers that like paper. But all the villagers died already. Yeah. I know. It's not good. Yeah, apparently um, the cobble wall, like at first it seemed to protect them fine. But it it no protect them. Fine. No. Or a skeleton shot them or something. I, I really, I have no idea what happened to them. Um, What do I need? I needed something. I came up here. Oh, yeah. We need some of these. And we need some of these. And that should be all we need. Okay, let's run back down here, guys. Guys and girls, ladies and gents. Let's see if we can get some work done. So... As you can tell, things have been happening. People are slowly starting to uh, get things going. Panda's house is over there looking pretty sweet. Look at that water wheel and the smokestack coming up there. Um, this is also one of Panda's things that's uh, new here downtown. Is a potion shop he added in. Uh, simple stones, if you haven't seen it, where Simples is selling stones. We have the jail. Uh, digitized pixels, aka Digi. He built uh, this sweet lumber yard. Yeah, check it. He's going to be bringing wood here for sale. And sweet little payment chest. You just hit it again and it goes back down. This, this was a really awesome idea. And we've kind of expanded on that idea upon request from Panda. Um, I'll show you that maybe later if we have time. Uh, we've got some street light stuff happening here, guys. We're trying to uh, decide what we're going to do for the street lights. Um, both of these are ones that I came up with. This one's a little bulky, so we're going to use this one in tight areas. Um, somebody changed the fountain. Um, right over there is the old fountain. I guess they moved it over and uh, redid it. This one looks pretty awesome, though, if I do say so myself. I've never seen one like this. I think I like it. I think I like it better than the one that was there. Uh, the the railway system's getting changed around. Uh, these pillars are for the new rail system. Uh, this is Panda's Potion Shop. He's got uh, regen and fire, resist healing, all the potions you want. It's all good in here. Um, you can hear some of the stuff running under there that we've been working on. So let's go over here, and we've got our melon farm going on that I made. So everyone can get their delicious melon on. Yeah, check it, check it. Melon. Uh, no money in here yet. We've already been paid for some. Uh, Gallant bought some and such. But this is where we're working right now. We are doing the sugarcane thing. Okay, that was only two. We're having a lot of inconsistencies with uh, like sugarcane when it gets hit just landing here instead of making it to the water stream. I don't know why it has to be so difficult. It just wants to fight. Fight, fight, fight with me. Okay, so we need some torches. Let's go ahead and just make a bunch. Because we're always needing redstone torches. Let's put this here and this here. Okay, if you don't know, we are making some comparators. Let's just make... Okay, that's good for now, I guess. Uh, let's chuck the quartz in there. Alright, I was working on this branch right here. Well, what we need is... Um, we need to be standing in a good spot and put our comparator here. Uh, we need some more redstone. And we need this repeater. Uh, don't, I don't want all of that. Give me this. Okay. And let's get back up, 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 up and away. Okay, we want to do like that. And repeater. There. Okay. That's the third chain. The third chain. Done. I think. Yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm not really sure how many of these we should make. Uh, it just kind of depends on how bad the inconsistencies are in it. Like, if we're losing a lot of sugarcane, then, I don't know, we're going to have to come up with something else instead because I don't want a bunch of sugarcane laying around up inside of here because it's going to like cause server lag probably if we have like a bunch of extra items that we don't necessarily need around here. So I don't want all that stuff just sitting up here. Right now, it doesn't seem to be doing it too bad. Like, it happens occasionally, but uh, we seem to be getting a lot more than we're losing. So I think it'll be all right. Now I'm thinking we've got three here, and I think we have seven in each row. Um, let's go down here where it's easier to see. We'll just count these blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have eight in each row. So, 8, 16, um, 24 is what we have here. So, if we did, oh, you see that? Like, that one landed on the edge. Now, I don't really think there's a whole lot that we can do about this. Um, I, I had originally been doing this where we had another row of dirt here. There was two of them, but then we were having even more issues. Alright, guys, so I'm going to cut it here and I'm gonna work on this a little bit more and then I'm gonna bring you back once I I'm probably gonna do three more on this side I'm probably gonna have to do some terraforming outside but uh, that's just part of it you know that's just part of it let me put my extra supplies in here and we'll take some of this dirt cuz I'm almost positive once I start to yeah break this away yeah, we're going to have to raise the ground outside some. So, we will be right back. Alright everybody, we are back and we got Creeps Canes open for business. Look at this guys, right here by our melon. So awesome, so awesome. We are going to be rolling in the bucks. We got three businesses now. Three, count them. One, two, and oh, can we see it? Was that it over there? The chicken place. Yeah, way over there. Look at this. This is already producing quite a bit of sugar cane. A lot of this first row was from before I built this actual shack. It, I had it collecting down below so that we weren't losing a bunch because it was running even when I wasn't online and it was making sugar cane. <laughs> Wait until you have to pay taxes. Yeah, I was telling him I'm going to be so rich. I got three businesses now. Uh, okay, I'm not charging too much, I don't think. We might adjust this. Six nuggets per stack, three per half stack. It's pretty cheap because uh, you can get a lot of paper from this. Like, what is it? One piece of paper per sugar cane? 64 pieces of paper. So, essentially, you could probably get two emeralds for that from a villager. Maybe three if you find a good villager. And we've got some, like, extra storage back here. There's, like, a double chest there that we can't get to. One here that I left access to, uh, I don't know, just kind of so they could see how much is here. You know, so they know how much they can take and stuff. We're going to let it run for a while, get it uh, filling up. Over here we got our melon. It's starting to fill up pretty good. Payment chest. I come by every now and then and remove any gold. Uh, the maintenance hatch. Yeah, I added in a little maintenance hatch for now. We might move this, but uh, this is the watermelon right here. And then all of this is for the sugar cane. So I think we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 8. So what's that? 64 sugar canes. I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm probably so wrong. Bad at math. Yeah, and we got to just go into an item elevator over here. And it's doing its thing. Bud switches, know when it's growing. It just automatically does it for us. The best kind of business. One that runs itself. We don't have to do anything. We just set it up and collect the gold. I was having a bit of trouble up top here with the item elevator. It, for some reason, yeah, look, it's doing it again. How many's here? Two. It's spitting sugarcane out where I don't want sugarcane out. I don't know what its major malfunction is. Like, it seems to work fine most of the time. I don't know. These item elevators are kind of 
inconsistent, I guess you could say. But, uh, whoa! Jumped right over it. But for now, I think it's going to be okay. Like, uh, we have a few inconsistencies, and we're still getting a lot of sugar cane. Like, occasionally down here, they end up on the row of sugar cane. I haven't come through here to check and see, like, how, how often it's happening yet. But occasionally they land on the row. Is that one down there? No, I guess not. Doesn't look like there's any floating around in here. Oh, yes, yeah, see right here. So how many is this? Is this more than one? Okay, that was one because we already had two. So that's three that we lost. Oh, wait, here's another one. Is it? Oh, there's a couple. Let me up here. I want to see. Why can't I get up here? What the heck? And there's a piece of ice missing from here. I'm going to have to go get that. Why? Why can't I get up on this one? Okay, well, there's there's definitely sugarcane getting lost, so I don't really know any way of fixing that. I tried putting stairs up here. I tried putting slabs up here, thinking it might ricochet down into the water better. We were doing a different design at first. We had dirt here and here with sugarcanes, and we were losing a lot. Like this way seems to work a lot better. We don't lose quite as much. Oh, you can see it whizzing by. It's going to do its thing, going up the item elevator. And then we'll run up there. Oh, there goes another one. And we'll check and see if they're up there. Hmm. Is it because of the alignment? Hmm, I don't think so. Like, we're hitting them on this wall, and then they hit this wall, and they're up against the wall. So that's all that you really need, I think, is for them to be up against the actual wall. It doesn't matter which side, I don't think. I'm probably wrong, but... Uh, Let's see, yeah, see there's some up there. Why? Why are you doing that? And there's another one. Like, this This is a full block. And, like, inside of there, there's a block of glass missing where they kind of shoot out onto the hopper. But for some reason, every once in a while, like, one will end up over here, or over here, or back over here. And this is solid glass blocks, like, not just the cross, but I did the corners too, just to be safe. And we're still having some inconsistencies, but we'll just kind of tinker with it as we go. We'll kind of watch it and we'll see how it's doing and see what our numbers are. If we're getting enough sugar cane in the chest that it's getting filled up really fast, then we're not going to worry about it too much. The only thing that I'm actually really worried about is I don't want a bunch of items laying around on the ground. Like, I don't want sugarcane sitting up there waiting to despawn. I don't want a bunch down there waiting to despawn. And occasionally there's even a melon slice or two in the farm up here that don't get pushed down. That, like, if it starts to be an issue with lag, because, like, entities on the ground, um, once they start to pile up, can be a lag issue. So if that happens, we're going to do something different. We're going to make sure that it stops, because I don't want to cause lag for any of the guys or anything. I don't want to create problems. I want to make things easy for everybody. So we'll just kind of, like I said, we'll kind of watch it here and there. But guys, I kind of got something funny to show you. Um, I don't think I recorded it, but uh, Simply, Simply's Gaming, he decided to come by and prank us the other day, and I went ahead and removed it. It wasn't anything major. Um, you might have seen it, or I might have talked about it. It's it's hard to keep track. We, you know, we're playing things, we're doing so many things, we're doing stuff off camera. It's hard to keep track sometimes. But he came up here, and in his video, if you you should go watch it. He because he's an Australian, we're in America. This slime block launcher just does not work for him. Like it launches up, and he's like standing inside of it. Like the I don't know. But he came up here in our bedroom. And because he couldn't get up that way, if you go watch it in his video, you'll see what he does. But he uh, dumps water like in random spots, source box here, there, like on the ground, all over the place. And uh, the only reason that I actually knew, guys, is because I was running across the town out there, going towards the melon, I think, and I just like dropped dead. Like I timed out and was kicked out of the server temporarily, and like it just killed me. I don't know what happened. Um, I might be going crazy, I don't know. But when I logged back in, and I respawned, I was in here. And the room was full of water. And I had to get out. And 
I don't know. It's it's hard to get out of this contraption when there's water flowing down in it. But uh, I managed to get out, and I went and I grabbed all my stuff. So I'm going to show you a little clip of my retaliation to Simply's over there. Okay, Pit and Digi's going to get off. But yeah, I'm going to include a little clip. Uh, see. Uh, oh, he's already gone. Okay, Pat's still on. Panda's probably going to be on in a bit. But yeah, okay, guys. I'm going to show you this clip. <laughs>
Alright guys, so that was my retaliation, ouch, to Simplies. He, uh, he kinda had it coming, you know, like, I had to kinda show him how we do things around here. We are going ham. We don't just go, like, a little bit ham like he did over there. We go ham. And, uh, so, Simplies got kind of upset. Um, he was having a hard time getting rid of the water. He couldn't really, uh, he didn't want to deal with it. It was just too much for him. He wasn't expecting it. So, Digi, being the nice guy that he is, Digital Pixels, he came over here and, Hello, Mr. Simplies, I was hired to fix your pipes, Digi. So, Digi, he's such a nice guy. He came by and fixed it all up for just, just the sake of being nice. That's just how he is. He's just a super great guy. So, now Simples, Simplies, Simples, whatever. He should be happy now. He's all better. He's all fixed up. He doesn't have to move. He was talking about abandoning his house and moving, and uh, <laughs> that's not necessary. I would have cleaned it up. I would have fixed it if I had to. I don't want to uh, be too mean, but, you know, he kind of had it coming. But, guys, I think we're going to call it an end here for today. We got some things accomplished. We uh, got the sugarcane farm up and running. I did a little bit of running around in circles. We uh, pranked simply because... Oh man, it's, it is so fun. I see, this is filling up. It was so fun. And uh, he's been talking about how he's going to get me back. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do yet, but he's he's kind of declaring a prank war against us. And I warned him it's probably not a good idea, but we're going to do it. I'm going to I'm not going to back down from it. If he brings it, I'm going to I'm going to teach him, teach him the proper ways of the prank. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this. This is Nick the Creep. We did things. We accomplished stuff. We're going ham. We're doing it every day. Uh, I hope you uh, like this enough to at least hit that like button, right? You gonna hit that like button? If you're not subscribed, why don't you go ahead and subscribe? You know you liked it. So uh, come back and watch more, you know? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, man? Come on back. Come back. Baby, come back. Yeah, okay. So, everybody... Have a wonderful day, and I will see you again next time. Oh, my gold pants broke. Okay. Bye-bye.